welcome back to the side of the podcast. Boys, girls, NBs, welcome to the fucking judgiest show on the fucking internet. You gotta bleep that, <laughs> bud. Gotta, We're gonna get demonetized. You gotta look at the camera when you're addressing the crowd. Oh, I, was, I was over here looking at Josh trying to just grasp onto the memory of what he says. I zone it out every time. Yeah. Me That's too. Fair. Yeah, I sort of blank it's, on it. It's just like muscle memory at it's this point. It's kind of like a blank space. Wow, Swifty. Uh, did you tell Josh about your sweater? No. He didn't, he didn't even talk about how fucking fresh I looked. I normally do, do and I thought it. Pretty fresh. I thought sick sick uh, garb. $15. Where at? Kohl's. Kohl's. Was on clearance. clearance. Oh, makes sense. I also, mean, he got a new chain for wow. his birthday. It is a new chain. I thought it looked shinier. Yeah. And it's longer. Is it longer? And it's a slightly different much. color. I thought gold. it was like way longer, but it's not. <laughs> it's long enough to where it can stick out of shirts now. Before it was like right at collar level. Yeah. I and try. we are the, the Judges. A little bit more of a mellow episode after Sorry. last week. Last week was chaos. It was. AKA yesterday for us. Yeah, it was chaos. Do we want it back? It, I, I could ride the lightning. Ride the lightning. I thought you said red lightning, and I was like, oh, yeah. A little bit of hair of the dog piss. What color Ooh. is is the ammonia? I just assume it's yellow. It's clear. It's like clear, yeah. It, mm. does, it does smell yellow. It gives off it yellow vibes, yellow. but do we think that that's because of pee? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, right? Okay. Although, also, like, whenever you're in cartoons, I feel like fumes, chemical fumes, are often yellow. Or like a mustardy yellow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a green. But really, green is just yellow trying a little bit too hard. Interesting. Honestly, yes. Thank you. Somebody you see, had Wait, to you say said it. green is yellow trying too hard. Yeah. yeah. I think that maybe it's because yellow is like a little sad. Oh. A little bit too sad. Yeah, it's a little blue. Yeah, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yellow with a little blue makes green. Yeah. Anywho, we got mail? That's right. This is the last... Hey, can you keep Peace. it down a little bit? This is a metal. We're, this is so we're chill. This 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 sewed. Last piece of mail from 2023 that people. Okay, sent that, I'm actually fucking pumped for that. That's that's so fucking hype. Hi, judges. We finally Hello. made it through it. Hey, I was talking over here. We finally made it through 2023. We fucking back made catalog. it, dog. We made it. Hi, judges. Hello. You can use my name. My name is Allie. Hi, Allie. I've been listening since episode 36. Whoa. Okay. Oh, and gee, only recently baby. has my boyfriend started listening. But we love you guys. A B P. We just listened to the episode where Josh mentioned doing a wedding road trip. So now I'm trying to convince him <laughs> to propose. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, whoop de woo. Here's our Christmas card featuring the best dogs ever. Juno is the all white one, and Oxford has the freckles. Anyway, love you guys so much. Can't wait for more shows. Hugs and pisses, Allie, Tim, and the girl. Should I show the picture or no? Let me see. How about this? Are those wow. Samoyas or whatever they're called? Or are they just retrievers? I think the one looks like a retriever, but I don't know. Probably a mixed breed. Yeah. Little they mutt, might little, just be a couple of goldens. A little mutt action, potentially. Little very, light colored very cool. Golds. Very cool. Actually, that's a powerful stance you have going on. Holy shit, that's, that rocks so hard. Do you see that they're sitting on each other? Yeah. yeah. That rocks oh, so hard. It. Yeah. She's laying on the ground on her stomach for the listeners. And she's got her feet in the air. And he's sitting on her feet with his... That's very cool. I'm actually stealing that. Uh, the editor cut all this out so I can steal it and look original. Sure. Um, and Eric, if you look to your left, you also have a little bit of a package. Oh, fuck. I genuinely yeah. did not know that was there. Yeah. It's there. It's, it's there. For I'm going to open for, it. Yep. It's for me? Well, no. Well, it's... Okay, it might be for you. Please don't use my name. This is for Erica. Love you all from your full name. Hmm. <laughs> Sassy today, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bubble gun in the shape. It says radish, but this looks like a carrot to me. Huh. Well, carrots and radishes are kind. It's a carrot's kind of the radish not doing enough. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. I don't know. I feel like a radish is carrots with um. Olson's gonna love that this. bottle up their emotions too much. I know you said it's for me, but. If I take that home, Olsen's going to steal it. He's kind of obsessed with bubbles right now. 
I love the like bad English tran- uh, translation of automatic crazy make bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that it's a rabbit holding carrots and it's called a bubble, bubble radish. radish. Yeah. Spelt incorrectly? Yeah, is it's radish, radish with two, two D's? D's? Is that radish? I don't know. How do you spell radish? Radish? I have no idea. I don't know. Anywho, we don't just open up mail on this podcast. We also allegedly ask you to send in more mail at P.O. Box 50, Illinois 61350. I don't think I said that. And we also podcast on this podcast. Yes. And what that entails is us going online and finding silly Illinois. And sometimes. Did you do that the last episode? We sure did. It's a blur. Uh, I don't remember Song if you did or two. Not. That uh, oh, I liked that. Yeah, you're, uh, and sometimes Erica is the one. I'm gonna read reading. Um, if you're new here, leave. We don't want new listeners. She says, "Oh, you, you. and uh, then come back, and then come back." And no, come no, back. no, no. Okay. Hey, Erica. Hi. My name is pronounced Sakna. If you read this, I recently found out about the subreddit about people who don't know that they've been dumped and came across this story. And it was so interesting to me, especially the way people were responding to it. Anyways, thought I'd share it. Have a beautiful day. Sends it over. Thank you, Sakna. It feels. It feels like I'm getting tricked, but then it feels like a Bofa situation. Oh, okay. Um, R slash. We're going to get clipped and it's going to be. Oh, we're going to get these nuts, did. Yeah. Sure. Uh, R slash, am I the X? Am I the X? X. E-X? Yep. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Uh, title says, O-O-P's. Original O-P's? Yeah. Got it. Original O-P's boyfriend isn't sure if he wants to stay with O-O-P or keep his realistic sex doll. Oh. Wow. I might have seen the actual, like, the the original post. The original post was on Am I the Asshole. That makes sense. That's not a whoop. Correct. I never thought I'd be in this situation, but here it goes. I, 22 female, have been dating my 23 male boyfriend for about a year. We finally reached that part in our relationship where we want to move in with each other. Since I had the bigger apartment and his lease was coming to an end, we decided he should move in with me. A week ago... Oh, there you go. I was that was a stretch. That was a stretch. How? Because it didn't say about. The whole thing is about. Okay, do you want me to ad lib that like you like to do? Yeah. yeah. About a week ago. <laughs> Much better. Much I, more natural. Yeah, wow. yeah. I was over the moon and felt like I was in a very secure and loving relationship. Now I feel like I'm losing everything over something so stupid. A few days ago, I was helping my boyfriend, B, Bruce, Bruce, uh, start to pack his things. While Bruce was packing things in the kitchen, he asked me to go to, into his spare room and grab some textbooks he had lying on the ground. Now, I honestly don't go into the spare room a lot because there's been no reason for me to do so. I've been in there maybe once to grab something as it's more of a junk room where Bruce puts things he doesn't want out in the rest of the house. Okay. We all yeah. got one of those, right? We all need one. Um, it used to be his gaming room, but he moved that out into his living room about the time I started to come to his place a lot more frequently. I never questioned it because it never seemed weird or strange to me. I don't know. Anyways, as I went into the room, I started grabbing the books he wanted and noticed one book kind of halfway in the closet. Go over to pick it up and see a foot. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. When I tell you I almost had a heart attack, I screamed. And Bruce comes running into the room. I point to the closet and the look of realization hits him. He runs over and closes the closet door and begins to ramble about it being nothing. No, baby, I swear it's a dead body. It's not my fuck toy. That's so. That's the worst way to handle it. It's not my life size sexual, sexual fuck toy. It's a dead body, I swear. I'm just in complete shock thinking there's a human body in his closet and he's trying to tell me it's nothing. Honestly, my thoughts were just about getting out of this damn apartment in that moment. When he realizes I'm not calming down, he went back to the closet and pulls her out. It was a full body sized sex doll. Not those cheap blow up dolls, but it looks like a real person. Mm -hmm. Now, I have nothing against adult toys. I have some and I knew he had a pocket pussy among some other ones. I was completely okay with this. But this? Well, this pussy has pockets. (laughs) You didn't lie. 
I immediately felt weird about it and told him it's not coming to my apartment. He got defensive and said it's our apartment now and he should be allowed to have her. We got into a massive fight and I found out that he's named her and uses her regularly. Uh, Well, yeah, it's a pretty big investment. Yeah. It'd be weirder if he didn't. You really do have to be about uh, masturbation if you're buying. Like if you're dropping like 4K on one of these bad boys. It's like if you buy a boat, you have to take the boat out. Yeah. Yeah. This is why you want a friend that has a real life sex alley. You can just like a couple weekends in the summer. Yeah. That way you don't have to worry about it. Mm. You can get it dirty. You don't have to clean it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, We have Frex. We have sex frequently. I was going to say we have Frex sequently. That's kind of hot. though. We We have Frex secretly is actually pretty hot. We have sex frequently, so I question why he even needs her. I said it's different. He said, sorry, he said it's different when he's with her. I feel like I'm going crazy. He was talking like she was a real living person. The fi- I do think you have to convince yourself of that if you're using one. I, I, I feel like, not speaking from personal experience, I feel like once you get past the first two or three times using it, you're like, this is a new normal. This feels like personal experience. I think the hill is probably <laughs> don't go in the other room. I feel like the hill is probably pretty short to climb over. Sure. Okay. Because of the investment. Yeah. Now, if it was a ten dollar blow up doll, it would never feel okay. Okay. Because it, you know, what's the point? The point is to get off. Right. Okay. The fight ended with me giving him an ultimatum, and he called me an asshole for making him choose. He said he had to think it over. We haven't spoken in That's a few, really funny. few days, <laughs> and I'm just at a loss. My, the, the resale market is fucking atrocious for these things, Josh. Yeah, he has to think it over. I mean, can you imagine buying a used one? They're That's crazy cheaper, expensive. Yeah. I took it to the dry cleaner. It's fine. Yeah, I wonder. I I mean, I'm not speaking from experience. I wonder how easy it is to like refurbish one, like make it clean enough to where you would feel okay using it. You know what I mean? You gotta be a real degenerate to be buying a used one. <laughs> real degenerate. Oh, God. Okay. A used real sex doll is, yeah, that's degenerate territory. This isn't a king shame. That is just, if you're got if you're gonna use it, you gotta buy it new. Yeah. <laughs> Landfills be damned, you know? <laughs> my relationship has gone from spending the rest of my life with this person to he has to think about choosing me over a sex doll. There's honestly no one in my life I'd talk to about this out of embarrassment, so I've come to Reddit. Can, is there an, a title on the original story? Am I the asshole for making my boyfriend choose me over his sex doll? Nice. Can we get that with some pizzazz on it? Am I the asshole for making my boyfriend choose me over his sex doll? Is that, that better? That's really Perfect. fucking good. Uh, you're a professional. Thank you. This is so funny because it it's just a sitcom of a fucking scenario. Yeah. How can you be so in love with someone that you're thinking I'm going to spend the rest of my life and then this happens and you're just like, no, I guess we're never going to, I don't love him anymore. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I could see on his end, him not, him not deciding between a sex toy and his girlfriend. He's deciding if his girlfriend who isn't okay with him, like in his form of like masturbation, You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I doubt it's more, I doubt it's as simple as, object or woman yeah. in his brain that but that's i feel like that's the way she's taking it for sure all right this next one comes from my what? way to give the guy a little too much grace josh i want to talk about the story for 10 more years 10 would more you let, years would you let christian have a sex doll i guess he comes home tomorrow and he just jo- josh be... bought me a late birthday present he he said it was a goofy <laughs> bit and he spent forty eight. Hundred dollars on the sex toy. See, that's where I think I would have the most hang up is the financial investment involved yeah. without you speaking to me about that first. Yeah. True. Also, I also feel like we have a good enough relationship that you would talk to me about your needs but not being met. Instead that's of just enough. instead of just like showing up with it. <laughs> like I'd be pretty upset that you just showed up with it instead yeah. of talking to me about it, like, hey. I'm thinking about getting this. Here's why. I feel like there's a there's a level of difference between like you can't just be like, well, it's just masturbation. There's a difference between like a uh, pocket pussy even and a sex doll 
And the same thing is like, there's a difference between like a dildo and a Sibian. You okay. know, like there is a moment where it's like you, if if you walk in and like, yeah, your partner had just purchased a big thing. It's like, this feels like this should have been discussed. It's definitely a discussion. But yeah. if he had it, like this guy probably had it before the relationship, right? So like, sure. when do you disclose that information? Do you like, what's the point? Clearly he's insecure about it or else he would have told her about it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah, when do you discuss that? Like, when do you drop it? Like, hey, Susie is yeah. my doll, by the way. And would you be more upset if the doll didn't look like you? Mm. Okay, like, but if it's before the relationship, yeah. how can you be upset? Right. But like, Christian comes home tomorrow. Josh bought me a silly, goofy toy, and it's he's more in love with it than you, and it has red hair. Dude. Which one of those things are you most upset by? <laughs> I would be upset because I've asked him multiple times, like, hey... Do you want my hair to be red or black or yeah. yellow or brown? Like, what color do you want my hair to be? Not that I, I mean, if he was like, dye your hair red tomorrow, I'd probably do it because I love him. <laughs> but also, if he was demanding about it, I'd be like, mm, I will dye my hair whatever fucking color I want. I can't I get... Do I draw a fine lane there? Yeah. Where am I, am I like, yeah, I'll do that for you. Or <laughs> don't fucking tell me what to do. Guys, sure. let me tell you. I can't get Erica to like take a shower. And she's like, I need to go take a shower. And it's like, you should take one so we can watch a Netflix show. And she'll be like... No, Actually, never you. mind. Fuck you. Now. It's like <laughs> it was your idea. I was just, I was supporting you. Was, <laughs> yeah, but I've said multiple times, like, "Hey, you want me to have red hair?" So if he came back with like a redheaded doll, yeah, and he was like, oh, "I'm just like really into redheads." I, I could have fucking done that for you yeah. for a hundred bucks instead of four thousand. Yeah, like, it what feels, the fuck? If, we are throwing around the four thousand dollar mark a lot. I don't know what it is, but it's got to be. We can't. The thing is, we can't Google it. Yes, you can. I, I don't want Incognito, it. Incognito, baby. I don't want my phone pushing me sex dolls. It's already That's going to. They're listening point. to you. Like I don't want to Google Tantally Real Sex Doll X X you know, W. Here, I'll, you know I'll what I mean? Do Reddit. How much is real life sex doll? On Incognito. Of course. I should go on Incognito. It's a great <laughs> idea. Please. <laughs> Well, now it feels like I'm doing something dirty. At first, it was research, and now it feels dirty. <laughs> we are we are technically coworkers pressuring you into doing an NSFW web search. Um, Google blah, blah, blah. faster, Google faster. Uh, twenty five hundred dollars. I can't believe it's well. Honestly, I can't believe it's that affordable. Honestly, let's get one. Could have bought At this two. point, business That's expenses off. <laughs> and it is a business expense. That's girl math right there. <laughs> <laughs> girl math. That's an interesting story because no, yeah, I I would definitely be more upset about the lack of communication than I would be about like the the thing itself. What if you can go? Well, I was gonna say you did bring up a good point earlier. If what if you had this before the relationship started, and then how do you? I'd be more concerned that your parents let you get a fucking sex toy at <laughs> sixteen. He's he was born into wealth. He had a silver spoon in his mouth and a pocket right. pussy on his. You know, <laughs> um. You said I, pussy. I feel like you don't need to do like a cute little. Well, I didn't want to make you censor it twice. <laughs> He's got a fucking crock on his. Mm. It's like, well, you said the bad word. Every time I say that word on the pod, I get in trouble. But you to get to say that. it. YouTube I, is gonna be mad about it. Um, thank you for yelling at me about that. I had a severe lapse in judgment, and I'm but sorry. But if you, how do you ever, how do you ever bring this up to your partner? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. First date? Okay, what if like, okay, <laughs> not maybe not first date. I feel like that's too soon. Yeah. But like, if you're at the stage where talking about you're talking in. about like introducing spicy things into the bedroom, like. It should happen at the same day that they're introduced to your family. They should really meet your whole family, you know? Time to meet the extended family. Sure. My sex wife. I just mean like if she's like, "Hey, can I bring in a dildo to the pl into the bedroom?" and he's like, "Yeah." Also, you should know I have a sex doll. Is it cool if I bring <laughs> Samantha? It's like, "Who's Samantha?" And it's like, "Funny you ask." And it opens his closet. I mean, yeah. My Wheels sex it out on a little stand like the skeletons in science classes. My sex doll is uh, named the city. It's one of the characters. Do you think Boo. maybe that he secretly didn't even have the sex doll. It was a friend's. Hear me out. Hear me out. And he wanted to make the pocket pussy seem normal. Okay. And so he hid the sex doll intentionally with the foot sticking out. That way she would go in there, look for the textbooks, see the book by the closet, which what was he doing? Jacking off to biography? You're right. Biology. <laughs> uh, and then some biography. Now too, she's like, 
okay, the pocket pussy is one thing, but the real life sex doll is weird. And now he's like, for you, babe, I'll get rid of the sex doll. I got to think about it still. But I will get rid of it, but I get to keep the pocket pussy, and that one's not as weird. Well, it, the reason I think about it is like, well, I can't throw away Ryan's sex doll. I have to fucking wait till I can. You'll have get to re- like him. arrange a meeting, <laughs> right? Because she's expecting me like throw it out in the dumpster. Now it's like, I, well, once you throw it in the dumpster, oh my god, it's could really... you imagine dragging that out to the dumpster? Like, <laughs> how do you dispose of one? Complex? You chop it up, make it look worse. <laughs> how do you get rid of it? Yeah, you yeah you soak it in whatever. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the fucking chemical. Lie. Yeah, you soak it in lie. Yeah. We better get into that next story. We're about to have a whole half of just one story. I thought that was a really interesting story. It was a very good story, Thank and you. I feel like I could keep talking about it. So Emma like X gonna... is that suburb that's supposed to be like people that people don't... That are, think they're going to break up with them? Or no, like... people that don't realize that their relationship is over. Uh, yeah, or that they're not accepting that the relationship's over. Somebody sent emailed us a story from the same subreddit. It wasn't that story, but. Another story from that subreddit, and I, but I didn't read it last night, so huh. that feels like something you could. Okay, read but through. when somebody sends me a story and I don't think it's good enough to read, then I'm the the asshole. So what? yeah, it's because you you're sending it to you <laughs> as opposed to an anonymous. Anybody could be reading the judges' pot that's, emails. That's fair. It's not me. <laughs> uh, this is from Milo, Yiannopoulos. Uh, no. did I, I don't know <laughs> the one from Atlantis Thatch. Exactly. Oh, honey. There's two types of people in this world. A Milo Yiannopoulos and a Milo Thatch. Who's the first one? You don't want to know. Great. Bad, bad person. Great. Love that. Bad person. Am I the asshole for telling my daughter not to even bother applying for college? Oh, yeah. It's pretty bad. I am female 35 and have a 16-year-old daughter. My daughter has a late birthday, early slash mid-December, so she's going into her senior year of high school. At 16? Even as a late birthday, it's a full year and a half ahead, right? She skipped fourth. She's okay. a genius. Fourth hour or? Each year. Sure. It adds up. It adds up for sure. Uh, and what about on a leap year? That's what it was. She was born late December in a leap year. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, December 32nd. So she's going into senior year. She's a very smart girl and I'm proud of what she's accomplished accomplished but also young and naive in a lot of ways as most 16 year olds are i would i would yeah all not me you were built different yeah but you're Um, right most where did i go accomplished Uh, she's rude it's where you left off no it isn't but she's also young and naive in a lot of ways that's where i left off (laughs) at the end of a paragraph there's a whole there's a big skip there and Line, line break huh She's easily manipulated. She doesn't pay much attention to her surroundings. She can't stand up for herself. She constantly st- still calls or texts me and or her father for help for things. More recently, this I've, is she's so a teenager. Normal for for 16 she's 16. Years. Yeah. Dude, I still call my mom like, hey, how long do I cook this for? What, really? what temperature? Make a doctor's appointment? What temperature do I put the <laughs> oven at for this? I do text my mom nearly every year to ask how to make the chili con queso. And I do fuck it up every time. Yeah. I don't... Why are you not just texting your brother? Well, I intentionally make it differently. Why? I don't add beans because Aurora doesn't like beans. Okay, but even before Aurora? Uh, I don't add both meats because it's too much. Wrong. For me, it's too much. Okay. Well, your brother makes it better. Damn. He makes it different. Okay. Um, Accomplished. I hate you. Um, recently, I've been concerned about her doing dangerous things or submitting to peer pressure from her friends. I've met them and they are not good kids. I've told her to stop talking to them, but she refuses and tries to go behind my back. For these reasons, among others, her father and I have decided that we're not going to let her go off to college as long as she's a minor under our care. Oh, my God. This means that she won't be going in fall of 2024 because she doesn't turn 18 until December. I'm not trying to stifle her, but I do want her to be safe. You're absolutely stifling her. She was recently talking about starting to fill out college applications, and I told her not to bother. That's... I explained that we weren't letting her go until she's old enough to make that decision for herself. She started crying and yelling at me, but I refused to budge. I don't think I'm being unreasonable. 
And honestly, her reaction is more evidence of immaturity. But apparently she texted her aunt who's been calling me an asshole. So am I? Yeah. I mean, you made a life changing decision without her inform yeah. like informing your daughter who mm-hmm. should have been involved in this. You're just talk. scared that your daughter's growing up. Mm-hmm. Or that she might fail, which like, how is she going to learn if she doesn't fail? It's a whole point of college. Well, that's yeah. the whole point of having like shitty ass this high school and this high school experience. Should have happened to pretty much everybody. You have some kind of friend that's like, oh, they weren't a good friend, actually. Yeah. I need to learn how to navigate the world. Like, Yeah. I mean, it's not like when you go to, I assume if you go to the college, like you stay there. It's not like you're just like in the Wild West. You're going to stay real yeah. probably in a freshman dorm with RAs that have structured programs to try to help keep you on track. You have a roommate, at least one, potentially. Like, it's not like she's just going and like... Putting a bindle on a stick, you know, and fucking calling it a day. But also, like, you just, like, crushing her with, like, overprotection is, like... Yeah. She's never gonna learn. Yeah, it's... It, she's never gonna magically, like, get over it. Like, it's something that well, everybody did. goes through. I did. I was well, built You're kind of fucked up, though. <laughs> really? You're kind of, like... I mean, you're sick and twisted, if you ask me. Well, in a cool way. I mean, you're friends with us, so... You started a podcast... Do you know how fucked up? It's not that weird some... for a white guy to start a podcast. <laughs> that's true. You have a podcast that's been going for four years. That's pretty unusual for a lot. So of I can commit. I've shown dedication to a craft. I'm a okay. ma- I'm mature, mom, dad, Christian, <laughs> fucker. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm proud of you. All right. It feels bad. It feels bad for the the daughter here. Yeah. There's a fucking if they're a kid. You think what you expect an eighteen year old to be like fucking Howard Taft? Yeah. Who the I, fuck is Howard Taft? I mixed names. Who was the president? Taft. Taft. Is What's it his Howard? first name? William Taft. William. Is it William Howard Taft? Might be. Oh shit. Is he the one I, well, got I, stuck in a bathroom? I'm on a middle name basis with old H T. <laughs> is he the one that got stuck in a bathroom? Yeah, no, that's Garfield, buddy. This is a very stupid and really quick aside, but my grandma. <laughs> Fucked Howard William Taft. No. Okay. My grandma Tracy, the one that died of breast cancer right before I graduated college, she's the one that taught me how to shave my legs. And I I looked out at my feet and I was like, oh, I've got hair on my toes. Like, should I shave my toes too? She's like, you have hair on your toes? (laughs) And I was like, yeah. And my mom was sitting there too. And she was like, everybody has hair on their toes. My grandma's like, I don't have hair on my toes. And she looked down and she had very long hair on her toes and she freaked out so then we started calling her ht for hairy toes hairy toes sure so that just like triggered that memory for me you're welcome it's a good one uh okay one more quick one before the break if that's the crowd okay loves that idea oh lovely uh this one was sent to me by megan megan thank you this is from r slash am I wrong? There's no way that's a weird. She's the Wicked West Witch of the West, bro. Am I wrong? You're going to look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? I'm not. Is that a whoop? There's no <sighs> way, right? No, that's not. A There's no way, right? My husband, 25 male, has oh, been sharing oh. our sex videos with his friends. Yeah. Hey, who's so... Yeah. How are you wrong? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I guess. What did you do possibly to make you think you're in the wrong in this instance? Me and my husband have been married for five years. We had talked about a threesome years ago with new f- with a new friend, male 25. Um, new friend of his, male 25. But I backed out before we ever started planning it. I went through his phone and saw a message to that friend saying, I'll send more videos when I take more. Yeesh. What do you mean you went through his phone? That was a weird jump out of nowhere. That's your issue with this? Well, obviously, she went through his phone. It obviously what he did was weird, but it's like it, to me, is it not strange just to jump to? So I was going through his phone, as if that was like a given that that's what people do. But why does she have to explain herself when clearly the issue here is? Can I just finish the story? Okay. Anyway. Um, I asked him about it and he admitted everything. He said he had still been telling his friend there was a chance to have a threesome and would send him videos of us having sex or me have having him and saying you could be there and stuff like that. 
After I pressed more, he admitted he's also been sharing videos with three other guys telling Jesus them the same Christ. thing. He said he liked the thought of sharing me with someone else, and also the guys would send videos back of them having sex or being had. What does that mean? What does that oh, mean? you've never been had? I've never been had. You were taken upon by a female? I think it just means they're on top, like they're the one controlling the ship. Oh. Okay. What I told a him weird my... way. That's still just having sex. It's very like uh like uh Victorian sounding. Yeah. <laughs> like Catherine the Great had William the Terrible. Was that his name? Not William Howard the Terrible. Peter. Peter the Terrible, thank you. I told him I was very hurt and felt cheated on since he was basically sexting them. He <laughs> said he was being selfish and didn't see from my point of view and he would go to therapy to get help. But I'm not sure if I should just divorce him or is this normal for men to do? Forgot they were married. That sucks. That sucks a lot. No, you divorce immediately. You should probably divorce. Yeah, this is a trust issue. I mean, I guess maybe it's on like a case, like a personal level. If you're really not that upset by it, I would be very upset by it. Yeah. I would be very upset. No, this is terrible. Uh, this yeah, is horrible. But, but yeah. why did she go through his phone though? No, Erica, you're misconstruing what I'm saying. Normally, we get a sentence of "I was checking something" and then I stumbled into his text messages. <laughs> it was just so strange. Like, so I was going through his phone, right? That's as I do. <laughs> it's very surreal to hear. <laughs> Give us a little lie. Lie a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, I just forgot what day it was, so I took his phone out of his pocket. He was when taking he wasn't a fat freaking shit, and his, <laughs> he left his phone on the counter, and it went off. So I had to go through all of it. <laughs> Give us a little lie. Uh, no, this is terrible. This is like probably illegal. It yeah. is. Like, it, would that be technically considered under like revenge porn laws? Yes. Like, you're unconsentingly being shared. Like, I guess I, we don't know if the videos were consent, consenting, but like, that's, that's what I was going to say is she doesn't mention here if the video is. Yeah. Like, does she know that she's being recorded? Right. But she definitely didn't know that it was being sent, sent. Dis sent. Distributed. Disseminated? Disseminated? No, that's what happens when he comes. Ah. He's disseminated. Uh, what is the word? His balls are disseminated. Uh, I think you're looking... What did I say? I said the word, I think. But now I don't remember. Distributed? Distributed, yeah. No, but I think there's another word. Let me look it up. I think disseminated works. I think so That too. sounds right. Disseminate means spread. Yeah. Which. Yeah. More than just the videos of her were getting spread. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That? And she. Wait. My no, cheeks are getting if disseminated. If she's taking him, then she, she, know, she knows that the videos are being taken. Okay. Another really super quick one. Excuse me? Also from Megan. Also from r slash am I wrong? Am it I, is only a paragraph. Am I wrong for asking my sister-in-law to breastfeed in her bedroom only? thoughts right. let me just read it my brother and his <laughs> wife temporarily temporarily live with me and my family and she just had a baby they got back from the hospital today and i've asked her to please breastfeed only in her bedroom so that she does not make my husband and teenage kids uncomfortable she understood my reasoning and accepted without question but a part of me feels like i should not have said anything and just trusted her to use her judgment am i wrong you should have just trusted her to use her judgment correct but also if she didn't have an issue with it, then why are you freaking out? Also correct. I don't think it's asinine to be like, hey, you know, just be careful around my kids. Yeah. But like, but, that's mm. what like modesty blankets are for. Or like, you know what I mean? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but also it's, it's not like she's doing something sexual that mm. your kids shouldn't like be exposed to. She's literally feeding her child. But there's like, there's a way to like do it in a way that like also makes sense. Sure. Like, you wouldn't just want to, like, come home with your friends, like, if you're a 12-year-old kid, and then have somebody's boob out. You're going to get made fun of. There's, like, a lot of, I like, guess. implications to that. Yeah, and I also think that the person that is doing the breastfeeding knows when and, right. you know, not to be weird if you're not drawing uh, attention to it like hey i'm gonna go i'm gonna breastfeed here's my titties right like it's not that big of a deal right but i get what you're saying because like when we'd be at your parents house or something like with the whole family i wouldn't just like whip it out right i'd either like turn around so that nobody could see me 
you know, getting into position. Um, but then I just go back about business. It wasn't that big of a deal or I, or I would go in the other room. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely like, I think, I don't think she needed you to tell her like, Hey, go in the other room. But what if she was just whipping it out though? But she's saying this before anything had even happened. Yeah. That's the weird part. Yeah. I just don't get what the problem is here at all. Yeah. (laughs) Agreed. Who's wrong in this scenario? I mean, I guess her because she said something. Said something like she wasn't necessary, but at the same time, like it's not that I don't know. She you know, communicated. You know who's wrong? Uh, me for going through too many stories before break. If on the back half of this episode we run out and you say, "Do you want me to f- read one more?" and then I say, "Yeah," and then you say, "You don't have any," let me find one. <laughs> You're the one who's wrong. That's fair. That's guess we'll have to wait that's and find fair. out. Oh my god! Let's get on the side of the break. break. Catch on the other side of this break. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the side of the podcast. That's right. The only side of the podcast where we have this week's I can't wait to tell you. Circle jerk, circle jerk, circle jerk, circle jerk. What the hell? It's the circle jerk. That's right, folks. <laughs> New <laughs> circle jerk sound dropped. I loved it. Uh, no more awkward intros. It's oh, they're just, still gonna be, I think. I cannot wait for the circle jerk, circle jerk, circle jerk, circle jerk. What the hell? It's the circle jerk. I loved it. That's how many takes? No notes. Really? Guess how many? One. More than one. It is one. It is one exactly. Oh. I just said say it however the f- fucked up as you want. We're getting fucking sick and twisted with this one. This is a listener submitted circle, George. Go to a right. dark fucking place if you need to. Hey, judgy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Judges. Hi. Hi. That, hey, that's us. We're the Judges. You can use my first name. It's Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Me and my partner love to listen to your podcast. We had met in college, and once we both graduated, we were medium distance, about three hours from each other that's for a little over a year. Long distance. What's hey, medium distance? 25 minutes. Yeah. Nah. Eh. Yeah. That's about where it starts. I feel like it's about half hour to like hour. Yeah, that's your medium distance length. Yeah, anything longer than like an hour is is long distance. Enough to where the drive home is like, oh, God. Yeah. Anytime I'd go to see him, I'd binge listen to you guys on the way up to his house, and Love that. cry listen to you guys when I had to go back home. That's long distance. That's it's long distance. You all guys, you guys always put a smile on my face in the car and at work. Anyways, we are now living together with my best friend in an apartment. I no longer have to cry, listen to your podcast. Yay. Love that for you. And as you can imagine, living together with your partner and best friend leads to a lot of, of inter- podcast ideas, <laughs> of interesting <laughs> conversations. Those usually result in sentences that can probably never have been said before. Okay. Like peanut butter tribalism. Ever since you guys read r slash new sentences on a circle dirge, we have started writing down the funny sentences we say whenever we remember to do so. The reason I'm writing to you today is because I think you should combine tweets that should have bong in r slash new sentences to make sentences that should have bung, or alternatively, new bangs that never bunged. Or anything else that Josh can come up with because despite Ricky's protest, Josh gets me with his wordplay at times. At times. Yeah, yeah that was <laughs> a little bit of a backhanded compliment. <laughs> I, no, I have to agree with him. <laughs> At times, you're moderately okay, actually. Well, not moderately. You're very okay. Uh, I think this falls a little bit more into the aurorisms. It's like okay. sentencesisms in a way. Okay. Hmm. Where it's like new sentences, like little things. This is one of those things where I wish I was present enough in the moment to be like, I should write that down. I did just write down an, an one auroraism last night. Do you want to hear it? Just a little teaser. You'll get a little dipper little tootsies in it. Living in a world with jokes is so hard. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Yeah. Uh, my partner's Reddit is u slash broad dash sorbet 1898. And he posts a lot of what we say on there. My personal favorites are, every time I think of something new, I find out Sid from Ice Age did it first. <laughs> <laughs> Could you stop talking about your boy queefs and stir the mashed potatoes? Classic. My clitoris feels like it's been smoking Newports. Whoa. <laughs> I, I, 
This is one of the few ones where I feel like I need context for that, because that's insane. Yeah. Well, what's a new port? It's a menthol uh, cigarette. cigarette. So you're thinking minty. Yeah. So. But a little, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell, I've tased the wrong kid. We also have some we haven't posted yet and keep a list of them in our kitchen, such as your balls, my balls, our balls, cum rag. <laughs> Anything is indecent if you use it wrong enough. Tell True. me more, chicken breast. This makes me laugh because it came from my heavily vegetarian roommate who cries whenever she steps on a bug. She said it so softly, but I still heard her enough to have us all cry laughing. Anyways, if you want any context of these sentences, feel free to ask me, and I'll gladly explain what was going on when they were said. Um, also, shout out to everyone in the pod, including Christian. It seems like not a lot of people shout him out or just get him. Preach. Oh, I'm sorry. Or just get him and Josh confused. Oh, <laughs> I that's very up. possible. Yeah, no, that's definitely what happens. And shout out to Ricky for getting ooh weekly bonus episodes <laughs> stuck in my head to the point it is becoming a stim. <laughs> I hope you guys continue making episodes and know how much you we love what you do. Well, thank you. I thank greatly you enjoyed listening. that. That was very good. Uh, thank you, Sierra. Very, very fun. That was fun. I, I feel that like a lot. they're doing r slash new sentences in a way that is different than intended for the subreddit. Okay. But in my opinion, a much better way. Uh, but it's, it makes sense why they don't get traction. Cause like you need to have context for why that sentence exists, mm-hmm. exists. Like part of what makes Aurora isms probably so funny to listeners or like to us is like, we know vaguely who aurora is and the lack of context of the aurora ism is like adding the humor in yeah versus like r slash new sentences is when somebody tweets like uh fucking i don't know pothole sinkhole just opened up so large it could fit my school bus full of carrots and it's like an actual news sentence a news story that happened and they're like that's a new sentence so like when you're putting like an in joke, it's like, well, we need to have something here to like know why it's funny. Okay, but yours were very good. I like. That. I I do prefer theirs and Aurorisms better yeah, than. Yeah, I that. do. That's what I'm saying. It's funnier. Yeah, it's better to me, and it's easier living in a world full of jokes. Is what I always say. I it you is, have always said that. It's kind of crazy that Aurora doesn't like living in a world full of jokes. No, I she just like... says it's hard. Okay, she just has a hard time parsing through sarcasm or satire sometimes fair enough because of you know the tad of the dism doesn't pick up on the social cues very good sometimes i do have to say satire is getting to a point where it's it's starting to get sometimes it's hard to tell well this also this i don't remember exactly but like i'll say something and we've been dating for well over three years and i'd be like no, Aurora. Like she'll be like, "Oh, did you get the flowers because you love me?" I'm like, "No, I got them because I hate you." And she'd be like, "Really?" And I'll be like, "What are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing here? What's going on? How do you think that that was a real statement?" I just yeah. said. <laughs> I guess when you just uh, you trudge through the trenches of cringe like I do, sometimes you just see weird fucked up things. You're just like, "Is this real life or not?" Nah? Yeah. <laughs> Is this real life or? Is it just fantasy? Is it just fantasy? I recently was watching an Instagram reel video of a dude that, like, pop and lock dances. Did he drop it? But he does it at church, and the whole time he just goes, Jesus Christ! And he's, like, (laughs) popping and locking, and he's, Jesus Christ! (laughs) Is it an old video? What's the Jesus Christ a reference to? (laughs) This is how the guy just says it. And I sent it to one of my friends. I was like, is this real life? And... He has a friend that is like a musician for like a big church, and he's like, This dude does like traveling, oh. like traveling events to churches, and we'll do like a a break dance at church. That's pretty wild. I, I've seen him before. That's funny. Jesus Christ. Anyway, he's getting that word out. Do we have he's a listener submitted sound? We sure do have a listener submitted sound. This one's coming to us straight from. Della, this is me screeching. Also, it's my birthday on January 18th. We only a few days off. It's pretty of 2022. Their birthday is every January 18th. We do realize this, right. guys. You guys have both not corrected me. 
acting like it wasn't her birthday a month ago. Wait, You're acting like it was her birthday two years ago. Does it say 2022 or does yeah. it say 22? This is from 2022. Fuck. Whoops. What Fuck. if it was 3022 and we were just really early? And we're just living in fucking 2000 late. Be 100 years old. Listeners, missions to the judges. Hated I that. hated that. Hey, guess what? This is what happens when we don't. We don't have enough listeners submitted sounds, guys. Listeners, send in your fucking sounds. We are dangerously low on listeners. I'm thinking sounds. back to 2022 to find sounds. That was our most recent one we haven't played. That was rough. Thank you, Della. Any who whoop de woo. Hello, judges, but mostly Rick. Hey. What the hell? I'm not saying hello then. My name is Riley26, she, her, and you can use it on the pod. Sure. I have a wild ride of a story that may or may not include murder. <gasps> so, what about murder him? Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> it's 2024. Fuck! Their birthday's coming up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, 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 it's already passed. Oh, thank God. Wait, no, fuck, that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> so my bio mom is an actual insane person who dipped when I was 13 so she could stop paying child support. There's a crazy laundry list of shit that she did, but I'm going to tell you what dip, 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 what I'm going to tell you about is the icing on the cake. I can't believe it mostly revolves around laundry and cakes. Before my dad... That's was, a joke. You guys can laugh. Oh, I just... Some things are so steeped in satire, I couldn't <laughs> tell. <laughs> it's hard living in a world full of jokes. It is. Before my dad, she was married to her first husband. We'll call him B. Bruce. Bruce is back. Can't have the same. Okay. Bev. Bev? Yeah, yeah. sure for Beverly. Male? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've never heard. He lives in the Hamptons. He drives a... a, You see that poster up there, that thing there that's signed? Sure. You see that little tyke on the right? That is a teenage paladin whose name is Beverly. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. From not another D&D podcast. You see that signature above him that says T-H-C-T? That's Tanner Caldwell. Joshua. What's up? Do you genuinely think I can see that far away? I really hope you do. It's not that far away. Or you can't. It's not that far away. I ca- I see the shapes. Yeah. She doesn't have glasses on. I do have contacts in. Also, there's a glare where I'm sitting. There is a glare. Okay, well, it says it's Jake Hurwitz. You can read, you can read the letters? Well, that one's J-H on the d- bottom left. Jake Hurwitz. Josh Highsmith. And then the top one is uh, Murph's signature. Brian Murphy. And then Emily Axe. And then THCT. I don't know why he signs it like that, but it's Tanner Caldwell. It's because he's an artist. Yeah. Okay. Well, I cannot. I can't read that. And it's so. a little paladin boy, teenager. Named Beverly. Got Named it. Beverly. Okay. Moving Gold's on. Gold's foot. Yeah. Something like that. Before my dad, she was married to her first husband, and we'll call him Beverly. Uh, they were married for only one month before he got into a fatal motorcycle accident. <sighs> that sucks to hear. I always knew of him, but didn't know much beyond his name and that he died. Probably about a year ago, I started to get into Ancestry.com stuff. I don't know why I said it like that. I think I was about to screw it up, and I just went with an accent to cover my own ass. That's what most of my accents are. (laughs) (laughs) That's how the British accent was actually invented. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Somebody was trying to do an Irish, and they really messed up. Wanting mostly to know more about my dad's side of the family, but as I began to flesh things out on her side for shits and gigs, uh, Beverly's name started to come up more and more. Eventually, I found a PDF of his obituary with a comment underneath from his sister asking the original poster what they knew about Beverly and my mom, as they'd only been married for a month and my mom was cheating on Beverly (gasps) with the police officer that handled the case of his death. So it was actually a, it was a murder. (laughs) He covered up the crime. After some back and forth with my wife, wondering if investigating this would be okay for my well-being, I messaged Beverly's sister and asked what she meant by her comment. I learned that, yes, my mother cheated on Beverly with a cop that almost really hurt Beverly, Beverly before his accident. 
he bumped into Beverly's motorcycle with his cruiser, just not fast or hard enough to knock him off. You bumped into a motorcycle? A week later, Beverly is dead. This is GTA rules. (laughs) He got four stars from that. It was a hit and run that was never solved. What the fuck? Hmm. This cop showed up at the funeral and at the home that hosted a small party after the funeral, taking down license plates for some reason and generally skulking around. They lived in a relatively small area and everyone knew he was banging my mom. So it seemed really shady. My mom proceeded to cut all contact with Beverly's family and got all of his life insurance money. His family got nothing. Such a crazy story, and it definitely makes her seem shady, right? Hold on. There's more. (gasps) I have very little to no contact with her. Every time she's tried to right her wrongs, it ends in her acting like the victim, and I don't care for that, so I shut it down. But I recently reconnected with my brother, different, different bio dad, who she attempted to keep out of my life. He's 21 now and has reported back to me on some things that have happened in her life. About two or three years ago, her most recent fiance died. The story from my brother goes as follows. Got hit by a cop car. Note in parentheses. It is of the utmost importance to her that my brother sees her as a good person. So this most likely watered down. This is most likely to water down to make herself look better. And parentheses. Uh, All right. So here's the story. Fiance was in the office right next to their bedroom where my mom was taking a nap. She woke up to the sound of him yelling her name and assumed that he was yelling at a video game. She claimed that she waited until he sounded hysterical before getting out of bed to help this guy and found him on the ground and now unresponsive. By the time he got to the hospital, he was brain dead. And three days later, he was gone. A major heart attack. My wife, my friends, and I have a feeling that neither of those were accidental as she made them out to be. How do you just ignore your partner screaming your name from the next room over? And the cheating on her husband with the cop that investigates said husband's death thing is just insanely fishy. Not to mention the insurance payout. I personally think my dad would have been next after B because after Beverly because he was a firefighter with some good life insurance and she baby trapped him with me. One other weird tidbit, both of her dead partners had the same name. Beverly. Beverly. Anywho, whoop de woo what do y'all think about all of this? Are you on the team she's a black widow or do you think it's just coincidence? Love the pod. Keep on jug- judging hugs and pisses Riley. I don't know how you cause someone to have a heart attack, but if somebody could explain that to me, I'm on team black widow. I just need the slightest. I just need to be like, I she's giving sp- like epinephrine shot or something. I think that there's definitely ways to give someone what looks like a heart attack. However, that I think the issue here is she knew that he was suffering. Yeah. And didn't intentionally didn't do anything to help until it was already too late. Right. So in a, and in essence, she like, it was like a, it was like a murder by omission. Okay. Like a little, a little white murder. It is insane to be like, (laughs) well, I heard him scream my name, but I thought he was just playing video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. I waited until he was hysterical, and by the time I got there, he was brain dead. Right. Like, he's in the next room over. How? Well, she was in the middle of her soaps. Yeah. Mm. You caught me in a REM cycle. (laughs) So I definitely think that she's a murderer. Yeah, I mean, like you're saying, at the very least, like, complicit in, like, not helping a husband. So I'm confused. Uh, the, The person who wrote the story... Beverly was their dad. No, Beverly was their mom's first husband. Oh, okay. That's why I was confused. I was like, I was confused too. Because okay. at the end, where they brought the firefighter, I was like, wait, I thought the yeah, dad yeah, yeah. was riding a motorcycle. Well, the firefighter was the one shooting the heart attack gun at the guy. <gasps> oh my god, they got the Clinton heart attack gun. She's got ties to the Clintons. Cut this out. We're gonna get got. We can't be talking about the Clintons like this. You, you, <laughs> we, we're all complicit in don't this. Don't implicate us. No, you're, by omission, you guys aren't <laughs> saying anything. We're all getting got. I love your saxophone, Bill. <laughs> I totally believe that Girl those, power, those flights to Epstein Island weren't, nothing fishy was going on. 
I did Pokemon go to the polls, Hillary. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? I found it. <clears throat> this ready. is from Jake. State Farm. Sully. Um, I don't think so. Fuck. All also, states. Sully. Sully? What did you say? Sully? Jake Sully from uh, Avatar? Oh. The good Avatar. <laughs> The one that made a billion dollars? Oh, I guess that isn't the good avatar. My bad, uh, guys. Okay. Anywho. It's in 3D, dude. The one that was up, it started out about the water. Mm-hmm. The first part was about the water, and the second one's going to be about Earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the third one's, mm-hmm. the, the third one's going to be about fire. fire. Yeah, it's wild. With all four elements. Hmm. Anyway, today I fucked up by getting mad at a big ass. Like It's me every day. Like the... <laughs> Like what? Like the animal? No. Okay. Well, no way. They're hey. No way. They live in a rural town. They're trying to get to work and go ask what's in the road. Big fat fucking ass. I male thirty two have been dating this girl female twenty six for about a month, and things are going well. So far, <laughs> we've only kissed. But that changed last night. A kiss for a month? Yeah, get your game up, bud. Especially for 30-year-olds? That's kind of crazy. 32 and 26. Yeah. To only kiss is for modest. Con- I'm sorry. They're saving tongues for wedding. For context, she's quite slim, but her rear is more prominent than I initially realized. I think this is considered slim thick is what they call it. The kids nowadays. Thank you, Christian. (laughs) I didn't notice it on our first few dates because she wore (laughs) loose pants. But last night she wore a tight pair and I was impressed. Things went well and we went back to her place. At that point, all I could think about was doing a doggy style. The clothes came off and I asked if we could try doggy. She replied, it's her favorite position. Perfect. Now, for full disclosure, I am on the... No way. Smaller end of average. No way this is where the story goes. <laughs> There's no way. Just under four inches. And he said slightly smaller than average? Yeah. That is not realistic, bud. Um, he had to edit to add in smaller end of average. That's Sorry, I hate, you're lying to yourself. Bud. This has never been an issue for me before, however... Last night, I felt as if I kept getting lost between her cheeks. I could barely penetrate her. I asked her to arch her back even more, to bend down further, to straighten her back, everything. Nothing was working. This frustrated me, and I made a blunder by saying, Damn, why is your ass so big? She did not appreciate that comment. blunder. Well, how did you say it? There's a sexy way to be like, damn, why is your ass so big? Versus like, damn, why is your ass so big? I think it was that one. Yeah. Because then she turned around and remarked, it's okay. Maybe you just don't have the clearance. Yeah, clearly. At that moment, I know I had fucked up big time. So I asked if she wants me to take care of her or something. She said she was feeling a bit tired. So I got dressed and left. Oh, devastating. No. Devastating. Reddit. Yeah. Any advice for your boy here? How can I recover? Date She's kind so- of out of my league, so I need all the help I can get. Yeah, date someone else, bud. You can't come back from that. Yeah. Was my technique off? This was the first time I've been with a girl with an ass like that. I have her number. What's something smooth I can text Be- with an apology? Zero chance. There's no apology for this. Edit because people keep asking. I am Indian and she is Colombian. It's not, Edit it's number not two. important. Weird to ask that. That feels very Reddit. That why, feels why, for Reddit. why is that important? Edit number two. I don't want to share my actual size, but if you must know, you can DM me and I'll tell you. Oh my God. This guy is a humiliation kid. Yeah. Update. Okay, I found out from a friend of a friend that she might use Reddit. I wanted to delete the post, but my app is glitching. I'll be home in 90 minutes to delete from my laptop. Can we downvote this post in the meantime? (laughs) Don't want to risk it. Thanks. Downvote me to karma heaven. Update two. 
Okay, seriously, guys, on a train home now, please, can we get this buried or something? I can't have her see this post. <laughs> uh, uh, if any, the most obviously fake post in the world, but goddamn, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. The concept of him getting lost in ass cheeks is so good. To be so confidently underprepared for this situation is yeah. hilarious. I don't know. I just, I guess I'm not getting the logistics. I just feel like the ass has to be just outrageous. Well, and because here's the thing, right? And maybe I just don't know women's anatomy all that great. Pussy's below the butt. This is how I'm, Josh, this is how I'm, I'm like trying to like. <laughs> you shouldn't be going it. through the cheeks in any method. That's how you know it's a fake story. But like the butt really shouldn't be hindering that in, in such a way. Unless you, unless you have like a gut maybe, but even then. Yeah, you would need to have like a very low hanging gut on top of a very big butt in order for that to happen. Huh. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, can you cut it? If you didn't say anything, it was definitely going to be cut, but now it has to be <laughs> amplified. To It's going to be blowing I people's mean, here, ears hey, out, bass boosted. <laughs> what sound do you want to be replaced with? Pick a silly, goofy sound, and you can replace it with the silly, goofy sound. Also, it's got to be within a reasonable amount, because Josh is editing this, and he has to find the sound. Also, it can't be the word. Crikey! <laughs> Bleep that. With the noise she made. Um, <laughs> that is so rude. Don't Erica, do that to me. After editing the last epi- the episodes that's come out and editing out every single <laughs> from your microphone. I'm sorry. I can leave in a little. <laughs> I am sorry. This whole conversation is gone. It's deleted. Edit. Cut we'll it see. out. We will see. Do you want me to li- read another story? If you got it. Oh, do I got it. <laughs> she got it like that, Josh. I'm pretty sure we have another new subreddit. R slash dead bedrooms. I followed this subreddit for so long. Like, I probably found this uh, Flux. in season two, I'm guessing, like early season two. And I followed it for so long, but the stories were always just so depressing. Mm. <laughs> I never found a story that I felt... That warranted like having onto the podcast. So I'm interested. Um, it doesn't say if I can use their name. But this is the same person who is related to a uh evangelical family uh with names of Annihilation James, nah. Zachariah Revolution, and Genesis. I love Annihilation Wait, James. His full name is Annihilation James. Yes, yeah, he goes by Niles. Right, and I said he should go by Annie. Yeah. And then I made a Jar Jar Binks joke. Yeah. That's very so this funny. Is the this, same I swear to God, this does not recall anything. That's brain. crazy to me that Annihilation James didn't jog something for you. I, I'm also kind of like upset with myself. Also, this is the same person that wanted to correct you when you talked about the onomatopoeias and it already has a word called nominative determinism. I don't, remember I don't, like, that him, now. I don't like him anymore. Yeah. It's this this person is sending me this story. Correct Christian. He's perfect in every way. Thank you. Someone gets it. All right. So it's from r slash dead bedrooms. Uh, it's titled The Rules. Does anyone else have a LL spouse? What does that mean? Low libido? Yes, low libido. A uh, low libido spouse who has a list of rules about sex. We have sex maybe one to two times a year. It's pretty low. But the list of rules about it are long and frankly tedious. And the list grows every so often. When she finds some new thing she can complain about. There was never a list when we were dating. We, like many here, were three, four, five times a week lovers. Passionate, even more so after we moved in together, after we got engaged. Uh, There were times we'd get home from our jobs and we'd strip each other down and spend hours enjoying ourselves. Order food delivered. uh, Hot fun, no rules, just passion. Now, the list as of right now is... Hot fun, no rules, just passion sounds like a slogan for a pizza chain. How, yeah. <laughs> how many uh, rules do you think there are? To, to If they can have sex? Mm-hmm. I think anything over five, and we're getting into weird territory. Yeah. There's 13 rules. Oh. One for each of the deadly sins. Okay. You know, that makes sense. Well, there's and then there is... Idiots. Plus the other six that I just made up. <laughs> 13 reasons why. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. And then there's nine... 
sub rules if they are having sex. They made amendments Whoa. to the Constitution? Yeah. No, no, no. There's rules of when yeah. they can have sex. So there's a Bill of Rights. Please refer to That's rule the when. 12, yeah. 12A, <laughs> Section 3. And now there's a list of rules of how. They entered a contract with a, a warlock patron mm -hmm. in order to bone. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Number one, no sex over the summer. It's too hot. That's valid. I, I'm already on board with this. It's Number too, two, no sex over the winter. Too cold. Too cold. I am on board with this. Whoa. This is correct. No sex in April or May. She's a teacher, and that's the Bad end of the, school we, of the school year, so she's tired. Yeah, this makes sense. No sex in August or September. Because that's school the starts. The start school of the school year, so she's out. tired. Mm -hmm. No sex in the morning. We have morning breath, and she doesn't want to get out of bed and brush her teeth just for sex. I do have to pause it. I feel like we've already knocked out 10 months of the year. Mm -hmm. When are they supposed to be having... Valentine's they have, Day? That's winter. Yeah, they have they March. have March and November. Okay. November's when? No, it's not. Okay. You got the first two weeks of November and the last two weeks of March. Um, Number six, no sex after 8 p.m. That's too late. Sure. Number seven, no sex in hotels. Someone might hear us and discover it was us, and that would be embarrassing. That okay. would be embarrassing. No sex at bed and breakfast, same as above. That actually makes more sense, because that's always, like, in somebody's house. And I don't think I want to be fucking in, like, an old couple's house that's going to make me breakfast in the morning. You've never been to a bed and breakfast, have you? The only one that I know exists is the one that was next to my grandpa's house, and it was ran by two old people. Yeah, that's not really like that. And that's how it is in the movies. Mm. It's it's the how that's how it is in the movies and the one real life experience I know of it. We went to a so you can't tell me that's we how went it to is. one in. A, but I've been to one and it's not how it is. We went to one in Michigan and it was a little bit more like a hotel esque. Yes, but there are definitely other ones in Michigan that were still run old school style. Like person lives in there and like it's makes you breakfast. definitely more intimate than a hotel. Yeah, but it's still private. It was the original Airbnb bed and breakfast. Fuck. <laughs> Never mind. No sex if the kids are in the house, both teens, or might be in the house soon. That explains everything. It's the kids that stopped it. It all makes sense now. Number 10, no sex at least an hour and a half before a meal. She might smell cry. like sex, and that would be gross. Wait, Number 11. No, I don't understand that one. Can you... No sex. Mom, I can smell. Come on, you get out of here. Before or after a meal? At Bef least an hour and a half before a meal, she might smell like sex, and that would be gross. Oh, okay, okay. That's the server that. comes by and it's like, oh, you guys smell like cum. What the fuck? You guys are just having sex in that within the last hour and a half? Number 11. It's like swimming, eating before <laughs> swimming. <laughs> no sex for at least two hours after a meal as she's too full. Cramps. And the smell of sex would be gross if she was full. Okay. Number 12. No sex How if she hasn't trimmed. How smelly is their sex? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had the same thought. I had the same thought. Says How no hairy is your bush? Really? Uh, she hates her pubic hair, always has, but refuses to wax, shave, trim just for sex. She will trim if she's going to wear a bathing suit. Otherwise, no. But she will complain about it often. So there goes November. Will, yeah. <laughs> will not let me do anything about it as foreplay. I've tried that. If all of the above that conditions... That was actually really smart to try to be like, what if I just did it for you or something? Make it sexy hot? What if I just bite it all off? Ah, in a where's hot my way. carrot? In a hot way. No, in a I hot didn't way. like it. I don't way. Throw that carrot. I it's don't been know so long, are. Erica. <laughs> I did not like that, Joshua. Anywho. I've got scissors for teeth. G give me another carrot. <laughs> Edward scissors mouth. <laughs> Stop it. Where's the carrot? I don't like it. It's vile. <laughs> Number 13, if all of the above conditions are met, rules for the actual acts are as follows. Whoa, golly. No <laughs> doggy style, your penis is too small. <laughs> My ass is too fat and your penis is too small. I am Colombian, you are Indian. <laughs> A, no oral on me, that's gross. And honestly, she's really bad at it. 20, sec 20 seconds of no suction, scraping it across her molars, then saying she's finished. <laughs> But hang on, I'm so confused. You guys used to have a ton of sex. Uh huh. She never once figured out how to blow a penis. Guess she not. She never liked it. 
B it's or, not for me. That's fair. B oral is allowed on her, but if I do so, no kissing of any kind afterwards unless I brush, floss, mouthwash, and it's been about an hour for her to get over it. Jesus got a very sensitive sniffer. What happened? C only Kids. missionary <laughs> is allowed most of the time. She doesn't get on top. My hands must be behind my head so I don't touch her in any way she finds gross. Huh? D. Touching any traditionally erogenous zones on her body is a hard no. She, in fact, flinches away if you try to do so or if she thinks you might. Though she will say you can touch me wherever you want. What does erogenous mean? I would say like breasts, so inner like thighs. The parts that you might want to touch. Right. Yeah. E, the wearing of lingerie is a no-go. She will say she wants to wear it and feel sexy, but won't ever wear it. If you bring it up, she will get annoyed. F, if we do have sex, I cannot sweat. That's gross. Man, this really is tough. G, absolutely no dirty talk. That's weird. It is weird. I agree. That one's the one rule. H, I, in fact, I must be as silent as I can, and so will she otherwise it's annoying to her i can't imagine like doing like ever what's this move called in uh yoga like a like a seal the pose? Cobra? yeah because you have to have your hands up and you're in missionary and you have to have your hands behind your head and you can't sweat so you're doing like a constant ab workout <laughs> and also you can't even let out like a because it hurts yeah you're in so much pain um and the last one, I absolutely know doing it more than once. Never. If I want to do it more, it's a sign that she isn't enough and it's demeaning to her. And no, I don't get it either. Does anyone else have a list? P.S. I should add that I've asked her about all of this. We've had this discussion more than once. The first time she said she was worried she'd get pregnant. So if I got a vasectomy, we'd have a sex a lot more. Promised it, in fact. I was fine with not having any more kids. So I got snipped, did the tests, showed that it had taken. Then she wanted me to wait a year just in case. What do you mean just in case? We gotta dry the balls out. That's not how that works. Just in case just the in vasectomy case. reversed itself. What if we got a stubborn little cum in there? Um, <laughs> just in case. Got retested, still good. We had sex and then didn't have sex again for another year. In fact, since the vasectomy, we've had sex even less than before. The second time, I just flat out asked if she had to rank sex in terms of importance to her on a list, where would it be? She actually gave it some thought and said somewhere in the 50s. 50? I didn't have I can't the think heart. of 50 things in my life. I didn't have... <laughs> Wife, friend, kid, sex. We were again, yeah. <laughs> I like how you put friend before you're the kid. <laughs> well, it's wife, Longer. friend. I was just the room. Sure. Um, I didn't have the heart to ask her how long that list was. I approach the list now 51. with a morbid fascination because it's so foreign t- <laughs> to my way of thinking. And oh, as far as I know, and I've sort of checked quietly, she's never been the victim of any abuse or assault. Okay, so that, that was my that thought. Was my thought as well. Is thought that too. they had all this amazing sex before? She was assaulted, and now cannot, and she will think of any excuse to not ever do it again, which cannot say i blame her but if if it, she don't know it could have happened from him like yeah he could be an unknowing like maybe he was having you know in some way a unconsensual relationship with her with his wife and now she maybe <laughs> put up with it but first and now has grown resentful towards that relationship yeah it's very possible very possible maybe she's just asexual and she's giving you this list being like that really i'm really hoping i give him enough rules and it's like he realizes yeah so at what point in a relationship like this do you as the husband say this is not enough for me i am not satisfied you'll never be satisfied it's a hamilton reference can, Eliza. I, can, can i have the carrot back i gave it to you twice as i know um, Very generous. Of but at what point do you say, like, this is not enough for me? Can we open this relationship up? Can I get a $4,000 sex doll? Should we go to couples therapy? Because Josh on the judgy says that's always going to work. Mm-hmm. 
or should we just call it quits? You know, it's especially harder as a man in this situation because if it gets out that you're divorcing your wife because, because she won't have sex with you, it's gonna it's a bad PR. PR For nightmare. Sure. It is bad PR. For sure. But at the same time, like sex is is important to a healthy a lot of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And if there's no like clear cut communication between the two of them saying like this isn't enough for me or you know this is working for me this is all I can give you whatever how how can this not affect the rest of the dynamic of the relationship Yeah I mean yeah. clearly it is at this point if you feel that you need to go onto a subreddit and like ask other people strangers for something like clearly it's affecting him in a very big way Yeah probably affecting her less in the sense of like she thinks about sex less but that's rough yeah i don't know that's really bad you really i mean yeah if you're not on the same page about sex in your relationship that's a a doomer that's a not a good uh sign you should definitely be on the same page about that yeah so anyway that's this week's episode yeah it is yeah that stinks <laughs> sorry to bum everybody out yeah <laughs> So I got to go have sex right now. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listeners. If you... I wonder. So like uh, it kind of ties into the the like potential essay thing. But it's like maybe she had like a spiritual awakening or something too. Like okay. it really feels like there. It almost needs to have an event. Yeah. Or like a come to Jesus moment or like a something in her own like life that happened. Whether it be like maybe she realized she was ace and she was being performative, maybe she became a Christian and I really wonder if it's with the kids got super repressive. What do you mean the kids? I could see, I could see like a kids getting to a certain age and it's like, well, I don't want to get caught by the kids, and then it's like you just kind of start building like the new normal. You're like, yeah, you're like, well, I don't want this. It's gonna be weird, and like you just build, yeah, more and more. I feel like they expect it, or maybe she just like is like neurodivergent, like the. The fact that she's like, I don't like being like certain kind of like physical touch stimulants. I don't like. I don't like yeah. smells. I don't like yeah. certain sounds. Like she just had a lot of things. That's like this is, does not work for me. Hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I do think there's got to be like something yeah. triggered this. Something that's what it feels like because there there was a norm and then it changed so drastically. Yeah. Like obviously, I think it's 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 a common thing for sex in relationships to. Uh, lose like a little bit of the veracity as you get yeah. older. Like mm-hmm. there's, you know, there's the a natural. Longer you've been together. Longer you've been together. There's a natural, you know, whatever. But plateau. for it to go so different is very. I feel not, like that's not even a plateau. That's a plummet. Yeah. This. Yes. This yes. is a plummet. Yeah. That's wild. And how about our online socials? How about you plug it? Where else can <laughs> they find? Where else can they find us? Any that you're on the internet we're probably on there too and our username is at judges pod that's j-u-d-g-i-e-s pod and if you want to send us some listener submitted sounds please 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 do please. or another listener submitted story you can do that at judges pod at gmail.com uh if you want to send us something it's p.o box 58 ottawa illinois 61350 uh, is that it no I can't think we of have anything. to get on over to the oh, oh yeah weekly bonus episode so don't miss it folks patreon.com slash judges pod yes okay thank you you did the job you push the button don't stop pushing it let it just do the thing you're getting my 13 rules to sex now erica i can't believe you did this to me <laughs> you're gonna let me hit the outro button as many times as i want is that what having sex is called to you <laughs> the outro button <laughs> Got our ass. <laughs> Are we all-